It is made out of metal. It has a point on the end and that is really, really handy. What I'll be using as a parking spud is just actually this floor scraper, which works really well. If you can see there, I sharpened the edges pretty good, even on the sides. And as you peel, you will periodically have to stop and sharpen this thing up. But it's a good, good way to, to get the bark off. And it's pretty economical to buy one of these. And you can always still use it for a floor scraper later if you need to. As you can see here, I've got part of the logs. This is about half what I need for the 12 by 16 cabin. But you can see that log there has a, a one on it. Two, three, four, all the way down. And there's 23 logs here. I do that, and when we get into the layout and figuring out where each log goes, you have a reference with those numbers on there. You can say, well, I need log 15 to, to put here in this spot in the wall, and you know exactly where it is in the, in the rack or the staging, however you want to refer to it. I'll, uh, I'll be going into more of that in very much detail as I possibly can. But right now, I'm getting ready to uh, peel old number nine, and I'm going to go all the, through the whole process. I'll, I'll peel the bark off, and then I'll come back with a draw knife and I'll peel the cambium layer off. Now as I start, I just take my, my barking spud and with the bevel down, I just come along, start working it off there. And it'll go pretty quick. good thing to do to get in condition for the work that you'll be doing later. I'll be coming back with a draw knife and all this white cambium layer that you see, that's really sticky. I'll be peeling all of that off. I'll peel completely through this cambium layer here down to where I just have wood. What I have here, two sets of log dogs. They're just made out of metal. And I can stand a log up on its edge and uh, anchor it to a sawhorse. But in this case, I'm just going to anchor it to the skids that I have these logs sitting on. And I can be able to go ahead and peel the cambium layer off with a draw knife and not have to worry about this thing, a log tipping over on me. If you look at this, you can see there's a bevel here that's going one way. And at the other end, the bevels go in the opposite direction. And so, I'm going to try to show you how this works. You can drive that into the, the log, the, uh, the way the, the bevel is, it'll go into the grain. And on the other end, the grain and, and the bevel line up. So you can drive that in there and that helps to hold your log steady. Makes it a lot safer. This is just a piece of treated five-quarter decking, one by six. Uh, I like to use torque screws, the star drive screws. They're easier to put in and to take out. And I just screwed one into the top edge, and I screwed another one in down here on the skid. And I can just take these out real easy. Now, this is something that you can use if you don't have a set of log dogs. You don't have to have them, but... You can just put two one bys on either side and screw them and that'll hold it up. Now, if you're out of the log yard by yourself and you're, you have some bigger logs, perhaps like this one here, 
It's a pretty good sized log. It's about 16, 17 inches on the on the butt. It's a 14 footer. Now these are a little bit heavier to pick up. And what I like to use is uh, a PV. Now a PV is like a cant hook, except it has a point on the end, and that is really, really handy. You can stick it down in between two logs to, uh, if you need to move some, you can just stick it down in there and pry with it one way or the other. And it works really great. And also, you can just stick it in the ground. And that way you know where it's standing whenever you need it. I have a couple draw knives here. You can see one that's quite a bit bigger than this one. I can use either one of these, or I probably will be using both of them. But as I'm peeling the bark, I'm going to put, to be able to control, I'll put the bevel down, and that way I can tip up or down with my handles to be able to control how deep I'm digging. I really don't want to take a lot of wood off, I just want to get that cambium layer off. I'm holding this draw knife at a little bit of an angle. It's kind of coming down with a slicing motion. Peeling that off. get all of that off there that we possibly can. We don't want to be feeding bugs, especially a little log. Need to move my stabilizers here, put them at the other end. And just leave one on there. I'll come down here. Come back, finish this up. I think this draw knife could use a good sharp. There we have it. Board number nine has got the bark off, got the cambium layer off. It's ready to be used for a wall log. It'll be a sweet one. Mm -hmm.